I had the opportunity to be briefed by, by the Deputy uh, uh, Medical Officer of Health and uh, EMO along with uh, some of the other leaders and uh, I appreciated that. I have complete confidence that the preparations that they're, they're making and have been making for some time, the plans that are in place both on the public health side and, and from EO, EMO's perspective are solid and uh, people are going to be able to count on them. Uh, Mr. Speaker, and, and I think it's important that uh, the information that is conveyed uh, by government flows through the Chief Medical Officer of Health or, or, or her deputy or both um, uh, regarding uh, uh, the uh, COVID-19 uh, and that should be the practice. They are doing routine briefings uh, for the public through the media which, uh, which is a, a, an important measure. If uh, people, Mr. Speaker, um, are looking for uh, sources information. We do have, there is the gnb.ca uh, slash coronavirus website, which is important. Um, there also is the John Hopkins University site, Mr. Speaker, which a lot of medical officers of health are looking to for information about what's happening around the world. So if someone's going to look for something other than information on our GMB website, and they're looking for something other, sor other source, that is a reliable source, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, rather than anything else they might uh, look at. So, Mr. Speaker, uh, uh, I want to also acknowledge the uh, Premier's initiative to bring together the leaders uh, in, a, in a committee uh, uh, as this develops. But I want to emphasize to people, while there are no cases uh, that have been tested here, uh, once you start getting cases, uh, we see a fairly rapid increase in them. That's what's been happening everywhere, uh, Mr. Speaker. So it's sort of difficult, I guess, for many of us to, to imagine, imagine going from zero to nothing <coughs> to, to cases, uh, but that likely will happen, and, uh, and uh, people should be reassured that uh, uh, public health and EMO are prepared. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.